Hey everybody, welcome back to Del Marv Exotic. It's your boy Dave, we're back live in my Serpentarium. It's another update, we're gonna do another update video. It's been about two weeks since our last video, since we put one out, and we're gonna just do one real quick. So, in the last 14 to 16 days, however long it's been since we did our last video, we showed you guys the ovulation of our moon glow boa, who we had pair up to our snow boa for a possible, you know, babies. So. That being said, we're still waiting on the post ovulation shed. And on top of that, we she's actually now sitting in that pregnant cold up position on um, in between her hot and cold side, maintaining her body temperature from a temp gun about 86.3 degrees with her ambient temperatures or her hot side temperatures that set at 92. So in the meantime, let's get in there and get you guys to show you what it looks like. All right, everybody, here we go. Here's our moon glow boa, Missy Clip, sitting in her enclosure. And like I said, she's got that nice, tight, curled up, pregnant posture. Hopefully we get some moon glows out of this and some snows. Maybe she proves possible soup, her possible super out and we get 100% moon glows, which would be lovely. But yeah, here she is in all her glory. Let's get this thing open. Get you guys up close and take a good look at this beautiful boa constrictor that Craig K produced for us. All right, now that we didn't check out our moon glow, see how the progression's going, how she's growing. Showed you guys what she's, you know, pancaking up, sitting on her hot side, cold up nice and tight, incubating her babies. Hopefully we get a nice parent out of that. But in the meantime, let's just take a quick gander at some of the other snakes in our right. collection. Here's our Emerald Tree Boa, Dr. Doolittle, in his enclosure. It's an ARS A15. It's gonna be pretty massive. As you see, he's got his interior perch design is done by the reptile perch and various variegation and very all throughout. Massively large water bowl at the bottom. He also has an elevated water bowl here as well. I keep him sprayed down twice a day. Keep that humidity up. All right, Del Marva, this is that part where you like, smash, and subscribe that button for us because it's going to help grow our algorithm. All right, everybody, we appreciate y'all stopping in Del Marva Exotics, checking us out. Till next time, y'all be safe, and as always, one exotic.